I'm here with John Maher, and he is AKA Petaluma Pete. And, he, and we are in my grandmother's house, in front of my grandmother's piano. And Pete has a special project that he's working on in the city of Petaluma, and I wanted him to tell you about what he's working on. So, welcome to the Torliet household. Thank you. I have been pulling pianos around downtown since. Oh, I don't know, about eight months now, and I went to Craigslist and found an old upright piano, brought it home, painted it up, and I put it on a cart, and I take it downtown and play just for the fun of it. And uh, it's called Petaluma Pete because nobody remembers Petaluma John. Uh, Petaluma Pete is on the front of the piano, and folks give me tips, and they seem to like it a lot. And uh, so the project is that, uh, for the fun of it, I am going around to all of the different places downtown that have pianos in them, and you would be surprised how many there are. The list just goes on and on. So what I'm doing is going into these places, playing the piano and videotaping it, and we're going to do something for the celebration of uh, Petaluma's 150th year, it being 2008, called Pianos of Petaluma. Wow. Well, welcome to Petaluma, and we have a great treasure here in Petaluma, Pete, and he's going to play right. some music for us on our way out. yesterday and here's somebody playing the player piano out in front of a business and it just I just said I love Penloma. One of the most unlikely places to find a piano is at Starstruck Boutique on Kentucky Avenue. It features women's apparel, men's wear, lingerie, candles. This is a glitzy boutique and art gallery with an enormous collection of unique, one-of-a-kind upscale designer apparel and accessories. This is store proprietor, Melanie Stambler, who so graciously agreed to let us invade her hip little shop, where even real live models serve as window mannequins on special occasions. Row after row of apparel on the leading edge of fashion, and what do we see sitting at the front entrance? Well, it's a classic spinet piano and a traditional walnut finish, made in the late 60s by the Wurlitzer Company. This is a crowning jewel and testament to Melanie's creativity because she hires really great jazz players to serenade her customers while they shop. Let's give Petaluma Pete a shot at 12th Street Rag here as we head back out to the sidewalks of Petaluma.
Davis, and my business is Vintage Bank Antiques, downtown Petaluma, corner of Western and Petaluma Boulevard. We've been here 12 years, and we have about 12,000 square feet of antiques and uh, 30 dealers in the building. And uh, we love to have Petaluma Pete come play in front of our store and bring the crowds. Come on down and visit us and celebrate Petaluma. And now a visit to the local wine cellar. Just a few doors down, it'll give us a glimpse at another unexpected piano surprise. As we slip by our vine and barrel proprietor here, Mr. Jason Jenkins, we come upon a wonderfully ornate 1890s J. Bauer Upright Grand. It's a little rough, but like Jason's best vintage locked behind closed doors, this seasoned instrument has a character that can only be created through time. Jason's open house wine tasting events are to die for, and this old piano has seen some pretty good times over the years. So good, in fact, that some of the lower keys were not working during this visit, so we'll improvise for you here by playing just in the upper register, sort of music box style. <laughs> My name's Nan Winters and I have a shop downtown called Nan Winters and I sell party dresses, prom dresses, I do bridal and bridesmaids and you know lingerie and jewelry and just whatever I like and another thing that I really like is Petaluma Peach. We love him and we also love Petaluma. It's the 150th anniversary and happy anniversary to our great town. Right across the street from Vine and Barrel is Copperfield's Bookstore. This is an independent retailer since 1981. And it's much more than just a place to purchase a new book or a magazine. It's okay to linger here, perched on a stool in your favorite section of the store. Here, first-time authors from the community have a chance to speak to an audience in a non-threatening environment. It's also a place for notable authors to share wisdom, writing techniques, and stories with devoted readers. And now, with 2008 being Petaluma's 150th year, Copperfields is celebrating with an addition of a new children's section dedicated to kids with kid-sized accommodations, including a little miniature piano. It was here that we heard about the presence of this very rare, tiny, upright Wurlitzer from 1929 on loan from a local customer made with African rib mahogany and actually autographed by Henry Steinway III. Now, this being Petaluma Pete's official introduction of Copperfield's new book section just for children, let's pick an appropriate song and read the lyrics, or just sing along with the kids.
it too fast? My name is Jill Scatchard and I own Boucher here in downtown Petaluma and I've been in business here for 12 years and the anniversary of my store will be Butter and Eggs Day this year which I'm sure we'll be celebrating the 150th birthday of Petaluma and I'm in the business of selling gifts and jewelry and candle holders and candles and artwork and we love to hear Petaluma Pete play here at Putnam Plaza. He's often out in front of Lombardi's Deli and um, we hope that he'll continue to do that. <laughs> and I also want to wish Petaluma a happy 150th birthday. Another half a block away is the legendary, eclectic, one and only Andreessen's Tavern. Now in its third generation of family ownership, it's been standing on Western Avenue between Kentucky and Petaluma Boulevard since 1934. How eclectic is this classic watering hole? Well, for starters, the floor is quarter-inch linoleum from the SS Luraline, a luxury sea cruiser that was converted into a troop transporter during World War II. So, speaking of boats, let's dedicate our next song to the memory of that old ship. Petaluma, after all, is a river town. This fine establishment is the real deal and a honky-tonker's dream. The back bar is right out of an old western movie. The vintage firearms displayed overhead are simply unbelievable. And there's many a trophy on display from bison to field squirrel and everything in between. In the dark, dark corner sits a lonely upright piano painted so many times the brand name has long been forgotten. And the keys are resplendent with ancient fingerprints, beer stains, and cigarette burns from another era. And it challenges you to try your luck in making this old beast roar, even if it's for just one last time. <laughs> Jeff Tomasini uh, from Tomasini's Rex Ace Hardware and Country Store. Uh, I've been serving downtown Petaluma for over 101 years, and uh, we had a little fire last year, but we're back and stronger than ever. And uh, we hear uh, Petaluma Pete on the street, and we love his music. And uh, I'd like to wish Petaluma a happy 150th, and come on down and see us. Only two doors down from Andreessen's is the entrance to the Masonic Temple. Construction on this magnificent building started in 1881. As the geographic center of downtown, it also features the town clock. It's a Seth Thomas, which was delivered by clipper ship from Massachusetts and then by steamboat up the Petaluma River in 1882. For many, this is the first and only look inside this incredible, beautifully preserved building. Local Petaluma citizens can book this facility for receptions, corporate meetings, birthday parties, anniversaries, any number of events. On the third floor, there's a 1920s concert grand piano sitting in a 2,800 square foot lodge room. It's a Mason and Hamlin, also made in Massachusetts, and it's an absolute joy to play.
still in the Masonic Temple, taking the elevator down to the second floor, we discover another amazing meeting and banquet room with 20-foot high ceilings, crystal chandeliers, a full-service kitchen facility, and most importantly, a recently acquired Girard 1907 upright grand piano with a, a brash and brassy voice that just lights up the room. <laughs> Uh, we sell toys and gifts. It's a it's a big old warehousey kind of uh, emporium space where you can test drive toys and and uh, listen to great uh, world music and uh, play on uh, you know drums from around the world. Uh, we are very happy to have to be able to hear Pedal and Pete right across the street uh, uh, many times during the year. It's been a pleasure having them. I love it the way he just rolls up on a dolly with his piano. It's very, very fun. And we wanted to wish Petaluma a great 150th birthday. Right around the corner from the Masonic Temple is another landmark, a specialty musical instrument shop that serves the Petaluma community with lessons, repairs, and consignments. Tall Toad's emphasis and first love is obviously fretted instruments from banjos to mandolins to hard rock guitars. The last thing we expected to see in this eclectic specialty guitar shop was a piano. But true to Petaluma's love of the 88s, we found this new Palatino upright so new that it still had the plastic on the music rack. It was proudly perched right inside the door. As expected, this was one of the most in tune, even sounding pianos on the block and it was just screaming to be played a little Fats Waller tune called Honeysuckle Rose. <laughs> Jasmine Gibbons and I'm downtown Petaluma at Caravan Imports. We have a great store here. It's a wholesale outlet, lots of boutique items for the ladies and gentlemen. And we love Petaluma Pete because he brings such a fun atmosphere to the downtown. It really brings back the good old days. And I want to wish Petaluma a happy 105th birthday. Love you. You're my hometown. Keep it cool. Is that good? <laughs> Around the next block, the Petaluma Museum. It occupies the former Carnegie Free Public Library building designed by Brainerd Jones in 1903 and features the largest freestanding leaded glass dome in Northern California. Here we found a vintage stack grand piano with a player mechanism installed that operates on the old foot pump system. To make it go, you have to push the pedals with everything you've got while holding on to the keyboard bed for dear life so you don't push yourself away from the piano in the process. It's a squeaky, exciting ride. So let's get started. <laughs> Thank you. 
So here we are. Uh, we got 20 minutes to get to the gig. Uh, this is the Petaluma Peep Machine. These are here for decoration. Uh, here's the tip jar. That's the most important component of the Petaluma Peep Machine. Uh, and uh, we're just a little bit out of tune. And we also have a percussion instrument that we inherited. Yesterday broke the string. Yeah, mm -hmm. two strings gone. So we're gonna push this puppy downtown. Even the best built pianos were not made to be pushed around town and played this hard. Luckily, one of Petaluma's homes housed Larry Lobel, master virtuoso piano technician, who knows most of the pianos around Petaluma up close and personal. He's president of the Piano Technicians Guild, San Francisco chapter. He's a classically trained pianist and makes his living traveling the globe maintaining world class pianos. Larry's Petaluma home currently houses no less than three pianos. The first is sitting in his shop. This is an 1885 Conover that he completely rebuilt. It is quite possibly the oldest piano in the entire city. As we slip past Larry slaving away here at his workbench, we head up the steps into his living room where we come across his second piano, a nine-foot Yamaha Concert Grand. This instrument is also one of the best of the very best. When played softly, it sounds like a melodic whisper, and it literally moves the air when you hit it hard. Larry's third piano caught our attention because while it might look somewhat ordinary, it's actually a $26,000 Julius French made in Germany in 2007. So from the home of Larry Lobel, in honor of the heritage homes throughout Petaluma, here is Petaluma's Piano Tech playing Scott Joplin ragtime the way it was originally written and how it was heard way back when.
During the days of Prohibition, one of the hot spots in Petaluma was the back room of Volpe's, the oldest family-owned operation in town. Local farmers and riverboat workers would do their business in the trade center and then slip over here for a quick nip and other alleged activities before heading home. This is another time machine with original hardwood floors, vintage family pictures on the walls, and an Italian menu right out of Mama's kitchen. The Volpe family actually play live music here, and the place is very well known for their impromptu jam sessions provided by local musicians. Today, Volpe's ain't misbehaving, and no longer a secret, the back room bar features a worn and weathered Kohler and Chase spinet piano with a cutting edge that's as sharp as jailhouse coffee. <laughs> espresso bar and individualized desserts to meet all your uh, sweet needs. Uh, I also have a classroom space that we intend to have classes to educate you on chocolate tastings as well as chocolate pairings so you could pair chocolates with different foods and find out what you really like. <laughs> Across the street from Volpe's is one of the coolest places in town, or in any town for that matter. Outside poster frames and event marquees above the lobby make it look like a traditional theater. A closer look, however, reveals a homegrown, edgy, urban atmosphere where creativity is king. This is the Petaluma Phoenix Center, a one-of-a-kind teen center in the historic Hill Opera House, providing young people with performance-oriented music education, health care, and academic tutoring. Since 1982, native Petaluman Tom Gaffey has managed what has become a safe haven for young people to gather and express themselves. Tom has nurtured an environment which teens embrace as their own. It is a place to socialize, skate, catch up on homework, mentor and be mentored, and take advantage of free health services. When the Phoenix was threatened with demolition in 1999, the community rallied behind Tom to save it. And save it they did along with a Baldwin grand piano sitting in the darkest of corners and possessing a cannon-like scream that sounds like it's cranked out of a Marshall stack. Only the blues can do this monster justice. Let's bring W.C. Handy into the program here while we visit some of the other shops on this side of downtown Petaluma. <laughs>
wait a minute. A piano and a flower and garden shop? Let's pay a visit to Tom Bastianin, designer and owner of Trillium around the block down on Petaluma Boulevard. Billed as the wine country's most romantic floral arrangements, we not only discovered a piano, we also found that Tom's arrangements are not always made with flowers. Instead, he incorporates the best of what each season has to offer. Lemons, apples, grapes, watermelons. There's Tom right now. Tom's expertise is in design, focusing on garden creativity and reception site consultation. He says flowers speak directly to the heart. Their message opens, restores, qualifies, and softens both the memorable and the everyday moments equally. That's a beautiful, happy, and very romantic thought, to say the least. Music can evoke these same sort of beautiful feelings, and it's been said that one of the most positive, romantic jazz standards ever written was the Jones and Kahn classic, It Had to Be You. <laughs> She's always kidding around with me. extension on it there. Cracked a couple of times so I had to put some touring up on it. So that when Pedal of a Pete sits on the official Pedal of a Pete stool, he is at the right height to play the official Pedal of a Pete piano. And it goes something like this. downtown Petaluma. We sell baby gifts, shoes, nautical, toys, christening, and a whole lot more. And we love Petaluma Pete because of his upbeat music. It's so much fun. Our customers love it. And the classic songs definitely complement the ambiance of downtown historic Petaluma. Happy birthday, Petaluma! Downtown Petaluma is in the final stages of reconstructing six city blocks. It includes new commercial office space, residential housing, a new parking garage, and the city's first movie theater in many years. There's also a central fountain decorated with ceramic faces handcrafted by Petaluma school kids, and the city leaders were wise in specifying classic architecture that fits perfectly with the original town's look and feel. We'll visit some of the shops located here for you, starting with the Paul's Sweet Shop, because believe it or not, and you probably already guessed it, we've heard there's a piano in there somewhere, and the fun part will be having to wade through all the sugar to get to it.
This is obviously more than just a simple candy shop. They have frozen concoctions, retro candy bars, bulk candies, wrapped candies like Smarties, Saltwater Taffy, and Mary Jane's. Oh, baby. They also have these great big lollipops and bubble gum, goobers, mints, turtles, milk duds, kisses, blow pops, tootsie pops, lifesavers, tic tacs, skittles, twizzers, fruit chews, airheads, chuckles, chunkies, chocolate covered cherries, gummy bears, caramel corn, and novelty gifts like this toy piano. And no, this is not the piano we're looking for. <laughs> But then somebody said the real piano was under the tins of gum and mints near the high-end chocolate bars next to the soda poppin', real retro glass bottles like Orange Crush and microbrewed root beers, and here's the original Willy Wonka movie playing in a constant loop, and I love Gene Wilder, and under this screen is another Wurlitzer. This is a really old studio upright, and choosing the appropriate tune to play for this establishment is easy. So welcome to the new shops in the newest addition to downtown Petaluma, the new Petaluma Theater District. <gasps> Are you going to eat all that? <laughs> six years. We import ceramics, Venetian masks, Murano glass jewelry. We love Petaluma Pete. We've heard him a lot. He's going to be playing down by our store occasionally and we want to wish Petaluma happy 150th birthday Italian style. Bon compleanno Petaluma. Hello and welcome to Boulevard Cinema. Before I give you your tickets for today's matinee, you should know that this entire six block downtown area was completely renovated and rebuilt because of the tenacity of seven high school girls who lobbied for a downtown theater they could walk to. Their names are forever cast in bronze on the sidewalk in front of this theater and Petaluma owes them an eternal debt of gratitude because once the theater was approved, other investors jumped on the bandwagon for what has become one of the most beautiful additions to any town throughout wine country. Thank you girls and happy 150th birthday, Petaluma. One of the things that will strike you when driving around downtown Petaluma is the number of churches with architecture that ranges from quaint to absolutely stunning, like St. Vincent de Paul here, a proud structure located on Liberty Street. Over the years, some of these churches have actually been converted into places of business and a local favorite, one that is now a private residence. Downtown Petaluma has so many churches per square block that you can stand on some streets and see three or even four at a time. One in particular has the most amazing pipe organ that's so big they had to add on a room to fit it all in. This is St. John's Anglican Church, started in 1856. Organist Beverly Kinnison joined us in a rendering of a great traditional folk song that is so old the artist is unknown. <laughs>
Chris Sampson. I'm the managing editor of the Petaluma Argus Courier and Petaluma Magazine and Petaluma 360, our website. We've been in business for 153 years. We celebrate our sesquicentennial in 2005, and we're a community newspaper that covers uh, hometown Petaluma. And we've seen Petaluma Pete on the street. He's been on Petaluma 360 and Petaluma Magazine. And we'd like to wish Petaluma a happy 150th birthday. Petaluma, there's a rumor around the town that you're the greatest visit in the land. 150 years and going strong just like you planned. 150 years of pride enough to beat the band. Petaluma, hallelujah. You're a diamond, you're a present, you're a getaway. You're my partner, you're my caper, you're my Perrier. You're a charmer, you're a beacon, you're a holiday. Petaluma, you really slew me. Rock me in your arms and lull me to your lullaby. Sing your song and play along. Happy birthday, Petaluma 150. I said, you are the jewel of Northern California, magic morning, noon, and night. Where the palm meets the pines and the vineyards do adorn you, loving you just feels so right. Petaluma, hallelujah. Take me in your arms and rock me to your melody. Sing your song and play along. Happy birthday, Petaluma 150. Sing your song, play along. Happy birthday, Petaluma. One five oh.